Glad to know you're still with us. And of course, yeah, we started uh, this particular part talking about Seplat and Exxon Mobil. Well, the federal government had in May 2022 refused to give its consent to the transaction, attributing its decision to reject the deal due to overriding national interest, among other reasons. So um, now that we have uh, Mr. Garuba uh, with us, hello, Mr. Garuba, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, fine. Now, talk to us about this. The NNPC had earlier secured a court judgment that temporarily blocked ExxonMobil Corporation from selling its Nigerian assets to Seplat. Was the president wrong in giving his assets to the sale initially before reverting or uh, reversing himself? Well, all this demonstrates that this government, the saying that they have made doing business easy is no longer there. Because this is the same thing we experienced during the Ondo had their acquisition. And now it is repeating the same. So history will... Uh, please go ahead if you can hear me. Well, I, I think it started on a very good note, talking about the ease of doing business and making reference to what happened uh, to Oando. You want to take it off from there? Yes, well, I, I will look at it from a different perspective. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, there will be no point trying to even blame the president or the presidency for anything because in investment, if you recognize a mistake, then there's nothing wrong to correct it. Yes, the president is substantially... So what, what is the mistake now? Was it that he erred in assenting in the first he did place? Not, he did not err. Okay. The president is the substantive minister for... Petroleum. But any PRC is saying they are the regulators, and yes. according to the PIA, they are the ones who are supposed to advise. Exactly. So probably the Seplat, the president is saying, is saying Seplat is a local company, and all the papers they submitted to him, of course, it's only just to append, append the signature. There's nothing wrong with that. Seplat is a local Nigerian company, doing so well, both in um, Lagos Stock Exchange, um, the NGX and of course in uh, London. London. Yeah. Okay, so and IOC was divesting. Seplat said, "Okay, yes." But we you look at an NNPC's <laughs> argument. They said they have the right of first refusal. Agreed, agreed. So let us, if we are now saying, if NNPC is now saying, "Okay, we are not ready," Seplat will have just taken it. But now, but we must commend the regulatory agency for standing their ground and saying, "No, we need to do our job before advising the president." What I believe happened was some person just took it hurriedly to the president. And of course, the president is just trying to say, okay, let this transaction go on quickly. IOC is leaving. This local one can take it over. Okay, decide. All right, I think we have uh, Mr. Galva back with us. Uh, if you can hear me, please yes. go ahead what, with your what, what, I'm, what I'm saying, since the president gave his consent, he should have remained his consent. Yes. Whoever did not do his work should be punished. <laughs> but the president should stand by his say. This is what we experienced during the Ondo, and now it's repeating itself. The regulators that are not ready to do their work, you should find those who are not ready and punish them. He gave his word and stand by his word. It is not helping the economy, it's not helping any foreign investors to come and do business with this kind of attitude. Yes. Okay, okay I would like you to talk so about that. Change. Yeah, thank okay. you, sir. Just to add to what Elijah just said, okay. I will tell you that. Uh, no government have no business in doing business when it comes to this kind of uh, situation. One, if you look at the president argument initially, when he said, said the Seplat will be able to make up the hundred thousand, uh, so hundred uh, thousand uh, union um, uh, markup in a, no, by the party that they, they just sign up. And also look at the NNPC. Before now, they've been in that circle. What have they done? With all the time they've been in Nigeria, what have they achieved much? We are still under producing, even to meet OPEC what OPEC. Uh, you know, quota. Uh, quota. Then for me, if we have seen that, you know, Steplat, we have seen the kind of uh, well-managed company, well-run, we have seen activities in that industry. At the same time, this company has also the capacity to help us to achieve that additional 100. What stop us not allowing this thing to go? Because, for first of all, this is not the first time in the same industry they are, and we have local work, local content. And this is the only one I've seen that, okay, can help us to, do, you know, to weigh on what we have supposed to meet in terms of uh, uh, OPEC uh, quota. For me, you know, Going back and forth by the government, as I said, it's not a good sign to encourage what 
either direct investment in Nigeria or postulo investment. Because at, at the end of the day, if I'm coming to Nigeria, I'm not sure of regulation the next day, why would I bring my heart and money to Nigeria come and invest? For me, let's look inward and wash ourselves, our, our dirty clothes inside before coming inside. to the public. Yeah. Because as government, the, the president, which is the number one man, even apart from being minister of, uh, minister of uh, yeah. uh, he's the number one man in Nigeria. He has sent his signature. The regulators are coming by the back. Fine, if, it's good for you to play your role, but if you have not kind of meet up to your expectation and now it has passed to your table i like to fly what you do you not start coming and see what you can you can correct at the back not coming down to the one that oh nigeria is not safe for investment because the president can assign a new contract to fly then they will say it should not fly like he just said oh one day today is not making anything headway in the market for investors if this attitude is being repeated for separate that will send many of us that are in separate to tell what i say but the company that performed well have demonstrated good capacity to go bring us to where for me let's say uh, government and regulator Come back together and let them go ahead and with it. For me, it's a good thing for Nigeria you know, oil sector. Well, just uh, to wrap up this particular segment, uh, what has been the impact of this announcement back and forth on the market? You do, this or that, I, I like that question. <laughs> Look at the step flat. It's no, a, no, it's you see, idea. the truth of the matter, it shows you the foreign investors running out from this country. Is that Today, as I'm talking to you, before we have fifty percent domestic, fifty percent foreign investors. As I'm talking to you, eighty-seven percent are domestic. Only certain percent of the foreign investors because of this attitude. How can the president make a decision and reverse himself in three days? <laughs> and the regulators is it? Are the regulators not appointed by the president? Exactly, sir. Just uh, so that, that is just as the leader, you, leader you stand by your word. Yeah, just so do. If you look at you know, the way market will react in the news, look at London market uh, as at the day this, uh, this news was you know, hit the market, the stock got about 15% in London market. But in Nigeria market, the stock remained flat. Yeah, it was yeah. flat. It, it tells you that those foreign investors understand the importance of what news and what they expect to what step to gain from this kind of business. And we Nigerian investors also benefit from because this is where step is operating. For me, yes, they say BIB is there, government is there, regulator is there. We agree. But let's see that if you really want to open the door for foreign investors to come in, you must do a little bit before you come to the public and disgrace yourself. It's as simple as that. All right. Uh, because of what you just said about the fact that they're in London, they reacted, but in Nigeria, it was flat. What happened? It's just because people are like, they're like, what happened? People are cautious. Whether that government will, will, will because the same NNPC are going to call before now, and then uh, CPA, I'm sorry, President given consent, we don't know what happened. That's people were sitting to see. But those in the matured market, London has already taken advantage of this. is a good thing that will impact this company, no productivity. Um, Performance that now they are expanding their capacity. We saw what happened in one, a Wando. A Wando after expand capacity, nothing has come from there. We we'll see what is happening in, um, in what we call it Adova now. Just trying to expand capacity. But we have seen that the little uh, step plan had they have managed very well. And so that going forward, we we'll see a better performance. For me, at least a good way to go if if uh, the president can come back and still give approval to this uh, deal. All right. Okay, that's why we see our market to this sector. Our market to the act. Uh, uh, Mr. Dama, please, please hold on. Uh, please hold on. We want to take uh, Mr. Charles' uh, thought. Yes, we need to manage that time. All right. it, it, is, it is not that bad, you know. Yes. What it was, it is NNPC, but because of that court order, that was why Nigerian investors did not react. It was simple because they were waiting for that court order that uh, NNPC has gone to obtain from the federal high court. But I will say, you know, moving forward, if what it is NNPC limited now <laughs> or separate, those assets can be managed by both of them. All right. So they can come to an agreement and say, okay, <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's for us to increase our production quota yes. so that we can sell and get our revenue. If we we can see that our uh, right, foreign bank is very is falling, and exactly. uh, what and what, no one is enjoying this uh, high. I guess oil this price. is that interesting conversation that everybody really <laughs> wants to get into. <laughs> okay, very quickly, <coughs> beg your pardon. Very quickly, we take this. So now the federal government plans to borrow about seven hundred and twenty billion naira through FGN bond auctions in the third quarter of twenty twenty two has come under threat. The calendar shows that the federal government, through the DMO, seeks to raise between two hundred and ten billion naira and 240 billion in each of the three months in the quarter through subscription in three tranches of 10 year 10 year and 20 year original tenor respectively so we have 3 10 10 20.
However, the 225 billion naira FGN bond offered by the DMO at the July auction recorded 37% under subscription, as total subscription stood at $142 billion. I'd like to start out with you, um, Cha Omodja. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> actually, what does this say about investors' appetite? No, actually, like I said earlier before now, that investors are looking at, oh, we're seeing a uh, no, uh, rally in the inflation already on the on, uh, on increase. And also, from what we are hearing, that the government is broke and it's in time insecurity on the other side. No investors are scheduled to go into bond now. Yes, we know that, yes, federal government bond is like uh, is secured and safe. We agree. Rick's but, free. Yeah, but people are still analyzing. Come, if at the end of the day, if, like uh, my colleague has said, that inflation will hit 20%, and that is just a figure. In terms of re, it's almost around 23 or 25, but no 20% fine. But any investor that's not giving you anything around that position, it's, for me, it's not really represented to the right. Over on the solution is really going to hit most of the F FG bond. That is why I see most of the private uh, bond from corporates are not coming to the market now because they know that people will not look at that. That's why they are going to do what the commercial paper, all those stuff, you know, with uh, you know, FDMQ. For me, yeah. government should also slow down because they are yet to manage our economy well. If we look at what is happening in a uh, you know, uh, foreign exchange market, before the country run to euro bond, they can't run to euro bond now because well, the exchange rate is high. You know, it will be a burden for government also to service such a uh, such, uh, loan bo 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 at this time. And for me, if you look at also the cost of managing our uh, servicing our debt, it's more than normal, you know, uh, even more than the capital expenditure for, for, for 2020, for 2020 budget. For me, we should also rethink, or even half of it, let us rethink and see that it's not going to borrow to, to kind of a finance budget. Well, what are we achieving with the ones we have All right. at this time? Okay, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Galba, let's have your thoughts on this. Mr. Galba, please go ahead. All right, uh, Mr. Charles, uh, in 30 seconds, so we can uh, okay. go on to the next one. Well, I would say <laughs> the federal government is doing all they can, you know. But can they even meet that target? Well, of course, it's obvious that they cannot be that target. I mean, even um, investment for beginners will tell you, if you are seeing the um, 20% deflation rates, that's my own projection. And, okay, you have seen already 18.6%. Yes, that's done. Then, you are having an instrument that is giving you 12%, 13%. And of course, the NPR is even about, is, uh, uh, what's the NPR? 14%. About 14 so, no discerning investor will go for those kind of instruments. <laughs> However, you know, like he said, the bonds are backed by the weight of the federal government. But some persons will look at insecurity. He who goes borrowing, they say goes sorrowing. <laughs> so, the government, with true DMO, needs to manage our debt very well. You cannot be using substantial amount of your revenue to service your debt. What happens to developmental issues, growths? So we have a real problem when it comes to debt management. Like you said, the euro bond market, you can't even go there. Yes, you can't even go there. So what I would advise the government to do? Yes, tamper back, see other sources where you can generate revenue, manage the economy, then of course, we will see people coming back to the Finks Income Space, the Federal Government Board. All right, thank you so much for your thoughts. Well, we'll take a break now, and when we come back, we'll turn our attention to the second quarter consumer goods earnings performance, and of course, we'll do comparative analysis of these earnings. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs> 